all ratios of sine and cos, they lie between minus 1 and 1. So you will never get a ratio of cosine or cos which is less than minus 1 and which is greater than 1. Okay? So, when you are dealing with numerical reductions with algebraic ratios, you also need your knowledge of the following formula. Sine theta is equal to y over r. Cos theta is equal to x over r. You get this from the Cartesian plane. Sine theta is equal to y over x. And r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared, which is the theorem of Pythagoras. So let's look at the basic example. I'm going to move on to the next page. Okay? Sorry. What can eat at this Okay. Alright. Let's bring in tan now. Tan to one eight. Tan two hundred eighteen degrees. Okay. Now this one here, remember your reference is 52 degrees. So you need to simplify until you get 52 degrees. Then you get carry on. If you can simplify the 218 to, to an angle which is equal to 52 degrees, then you are going to have major problems. So this angle is in which part? Right? Yeah. Third. So we split it up in such a way that we write it as tan 180 plus 38 degrees yeah and then mm -hmm. this becomes tan 38 degrees okay now check this out if you go to the diagram okay do you see the 38 on the diagram Huh? It becomes a great 10 question. Opposite side, adjacent side. The opposite side is k, the adjacent side will be what? Square root of 1 minus k squared. It becomes a great 10 question. Once you get here, if your diagram is right, you put all the angles. I encourage you when you draw this, this, this right angle triangle. Even if you have got a reference angle like this is 52 degrees, put the other angle. Or sometimes you might need to use the other angle instead of this one here. So it will make things easier for you. Because the majority of you will have problems figuring out how to move on from it, bring in the K. Because this tan is not a correlation. It's not related to sign in terms of the reduction formula we have. Unless if you divide this as sine over cos, they need to work. But if you don't realize then that tan 38 is equal to sine 38 over cos 38, then you won't be able to get it. Okay? So I'm going to show you two ways to move from here. Either you can use the diagram or you can convert the tan to what? To sine over cos. Two methods. So let's call this one method one. Okay? Method one, I'm going to use the diagram. In fact, both methods I'm going to use the diagram, but I'm going to use it in a, in a different way. I'm going to move direct from tan 38 to k. Okay? Because I've got an angle which is equal to 38 degrees, and this is the right angle triangle. Remember, tan is tan theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. So the opposite side is going to be k, the adjacent side is going to be square root of 1 minus k squared. So I'm done. So my answer here. Is going to be k divided by the square root of 1 minus k squared. And that. Okay? I'm done with this. Okay? Because I drew my diagram and label it correct, uh, correctly, I can use it. Okay? Then method 2. Method two, that's not supposed to happen. 
method two, method two, I'm gonna write this, write that, write that, then I'm gonna move from time to sign over course, then go back to my diagram. Okay? So for method two, I'll just write my question time 218 degrees. This is equal to turn 180 plus 38 degrees. And that will give you turn. 38 degrees. Okay? Remember, we did the two fundamental identities. One of them was sine of a cos. So we convert the turn to sine 38 over cos 38. The good thing is, one of them we know what it is equal. It's what? Sine 38. We have got it. It's equal to what? Okay. So we just need to find what cos 38 is. But the beauty about it is I've got a diagram where I got an angle which is equal to 38 degrees. So I know that my sine 38 is equal to k from 1.2. So if I go back to my diagram, if my reference angle is this one and this is my opposite side, that's my adjacent, it's the hypotenuse. Cos theta is equal to adjacent over Hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is 1. The adjacent side is what? Square root of 1 minus k squared. So if you divide square root of 1 minus k squared by 1, you will get that. So here that I'm done with the question. So this becomes k divided by square root of 1 minus k squared, which is the same as that. So reduction formula, okay, are very important. Reduction formula. So you need to sit down and memorize your reduction formula. Okay. Of dealing with negative angles. Okay. Tan minus 142 is the same as minus tan 42 degrees. Or you can add 360 to it and make it a positive angle. Then you use your reductions. Okay. So this is the same as minus tan 142 degrees. If you don't want to convert it to a positive angle, you can just write it like this. Because tan theta is equal to tan minus theta is equal to minus tan theta. Reductions involving negative angles. Okay? Then you need to bring in the 30. Remember, we have got 32 degrees. Then you also have 38 on the diagram. Okay? So this angle here, I can write it by introducing an acute angle. And that acute angle is going to be 38. So I write tan minus tan. Okay, 18 of 18 degrees minus 38 degrees. Once you see this 38 coming up and it's on the diagram, then you realize that, okay, I'm on track. But if you don't manage to bring in the 52 or the 38, then you're going to be stuck forever. Then from here, well, it becomes a piece of cake. So this becomes minus, please don't forget, this is the minus, it is there. But tan 180 minus 38, is negative because this angle here 142 is in the second part so this becomes minus open bracket minus tan 38 you can make a mistake there but if you know your quadrant you shouldn't have any problems in which quadrant is minus 142 degrees no the third in the third quadrant is tan positive or negative? Positive. positive. That's why if you multiply this negative and that negative, you end up getting a positive. So you end up getting tan 38 degrees. The thing that we have got this 38 and this 38 degrees is in the 
is sorry, is on the diagram, it makes things very easy. Okay? Now check this. The previous question, we got as far as tan the A. So it means the answers are the same. For 1.3 and 1.6, the answers are the same. So I just write that k divided by the square root of 1 minus k squared. So this will be k divided by the square root of 1 minus k squared. Okay? And then we have done. 